Another interesting metric to look at is the failure rate for your build and test executions. People often underestimate that number. If we look at the Cradle project, you see that over the last seven days we had 1320 local builds, of which 635 failed. A failure rate of 48%. For CI builds, we see typically failure rates of 20%. Such failure rates are fine. They come with the territory of changing the code and, and creating new features. If you have failure rates much lower than that, I would actually be concerned about your test coverage or your development activity. At the same time, with so many failures, if it is inefficient to debug them, it will negatively impact your developer productivity. Builds fail for two reasons, either because something is wrong with the build or the test, or because something is wrong with the code that is built or tested. Cradle Enterprise makes debugging in both cases more efficient. I just got a message from Jen that her local build failed with an exception that doesn't make sense to her. She also mentions that she gets a similar exception several times a month. Sometimes she is blocked by this for hours. At one point things will start working again, but she doesn't understand why. With Gradle Enterprise, this is now easy to report and investigate. Nothing needs to be reproduced, as the data of every build is captured in what we call a build scan. Jen just needs to send the build scan URL, then I can look at the build scan to figure out the root cause of the problem without needing to reproduce the problem. Before build scans, Jen would probably not even have bothered to report such an issue. Let's look at the failure view. We have an artifact not found exception for example dependency 6.2.2. Let's try to understand what brings this dependency in by searching for it. We can see here that this is a dynamic dependency, similar to what are snapshot dependencies in Maven. That means the build always looks for the latest available 6.2 dependency. In this case, this is 6.2.2. The dependency detail view reveals the binary repository where the dependency is looked up from. Let's check our binary repository to see what is going on there. In the 6.2.2 folder, we see that there is a POM file, but no jar file. That is why 6.2.2 is detected, but cannot be downloaded. After I deleted the corrupt 6.2.2 directory, I ping Jen, telling her that the problem is fixed and asking her to try again and to send me another build scan. A few minutes later, Jen responds that everything is working now. I check her latest build scan and can see that now version 6.2.1 is picked up. I want to make Jen aware of this, so I copy a link that directly takes you to the dependency detail view and share the link with her. Finishing the support request took us just a few minutes instead of hours or days. Developers and CI pipelines are unplugged quickly. People responsible for build or CI spend their time on new features instead of inefficient troubleshooting. As you will see later, Cradle Enterprise also enables you to proactively find build and test failures and failure patterns without requiring developers to even file an issue. We still don't know why the 6.2.2 dependency folder was corrupt in the previous example. We will investigate that later.